Hi everybody. I want to start this video by saying thank you to my friend Kelly, who by the way is an amazing children's book illustrator, for giving my channel a shout out last week. So thank you Kelly. You all should definitely check out her work. I am going to leave a link to her blog in the description box below. Definitely go check it out. She shares a lot of useful information and her work is absolutely beautiful. I also noticed there are some new subscribers here. So welcome and thank you so much for supporting my channel. So this week I want to talk about something difficult. Setbacks, rejections and the times when things just don't go as we would have hoped. It's sad and it's a bummer. But it happens. We don't get the job we really wanted. We don't get to work with the client we really wanted to. Or you know, sometimes it's just life. Just life gets in the way. You committed to something and then you couldn't give it your 100% because something else came up and it just didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. It happens to all of us. I kind of think of myself as really good at handling setbacks or at least that's how I've become. I wasn't always like that. Since 2015, believe it or not, it has been one setback after another. Things just did not go my way and some of it was completely out of my control and some of it maybe was I wasn't absolutely prepared for the job or I didn't have all the qualifications they were looking for but the end result was things not going my way. So I thought I'd share with you guys some of the things that helped me get through them and not give up and still continue to create art and not just create art but improve by the year. So essentially, I think of setbacks as you know, there are two kinds of setbacks. Um, one, where it's something external that you absolutely have no control over. There's nothing you could have done. So, for example, what happened with me was I was offered a job by a company that I really, really would have loved to work for. But unfortunately, it could not move ahead because I was at that point on my student visa work status where I could only work for companies that were E-verified and that company wasn't. And if they would have approached me just like a few months ago, we could have worked something out and it would have worked out and I would be working for them, but they did not. And it came at a time where I just could not accept that offer. Nothing, absolutely nothing I can do about it. Right. And it was a bummer that it came at a time where I could not accept it. But, you know, it is what it is. And the other thing is something internal. You know, you were not probably completely motivated or, you know, you just you're not at the level probably of a, of a skill set that is expected out of you for the job. So, for example, what happened was um this company was looking for a visual development artist who also knows how to 3D model. Now, at least that's what I got out of the um, job description. But when I spoke to the recruiter, I figured out, oh, well, it is more that they're looking for a 3D modeler who is also a visual development artist. So now I knew how to 3D model then, but it wasn't just one of the things that are, that I was an expert at. So... I missed out on the opportunity. Again, in the end, did not go my way. So I think what I've learned is the first thing to do is kind of to ask yourself a really difficult question. And that is, did you really do everything you possibly could? Did you give it your 100%? And this is only for yourself. You don't really have to share this with anybody else. It's just for you so you know how to plan ahead. So be completely honest. So if your answer is no, then well, it's really simple, you know, because then you know exactly what you missed or what you 
lacked in and you can fix it right um if your skill set is not at the level it can be you want to practice and get there if it was a software like for me i didn't know a specific software and so that gave me the next plan right i could figure out okay well you know i think maybe it's time for me to learn some 3d modeling and take it very seriously and have like a reel for it so that's what i did so if it is something that you can fix then you know what the next step to do is but have a plan right um that really really helps because now you have a plan and you know you can work towards something it gives you a goal which is really helpful after a setback but if the answer is yes that you did give it your 100% that's where it actually gets tricky well first of all you should be really very proud of yourself that you did give it your best and at the end of it that's really all that matters but you still need a plan right um and when you know that you did give it your 100% and there is nothing else you could have possibly done for for that one job to work out for for that one thing to work out it can be really frustrating but some of the ways to get through this are research some job postings from companies you would really like to work for um what are some of the skills you're looking for you know is there anything on there that you could work on right like um if you are a concept artist and your expertise is say you know character design and what they are looking for is an all-rounder maybe you can work towards doing some props or some backgrounds right um is there a software you could learn like i learned maya actually i relearned maya but um what i did was i took one of my concept art pieces it was a room i designed for this project and i converted that to a 3d model by the way if you haven't seen it yet click on the link on the top right corner so you know if there's something new you can learn in terms of software do that if none of these apply to you maybe start a new project um do you want to illustrate a children's book pick a story and start working on the project right uh, it's always a great idea to keep updating your portfolio because you don't want to apply for the same job or go back to the client with the same work over and over again so having new work is always a good idea and of course you work on your skills at the same time right so start a project that really really helps you know i've come to realize that finding motivation after going through a setback or getting a rejection is really different from when you are trying to find motivation in your everyday life now i did a video about this where i shared some tips about how to find motivation right and that is very different from when you're looking for motivation after a negative experience so some of the things to try when this happens is remind yourself why you decided to be an artist in the first place right find that spark in you what was it that made you say i'm going to be an artist there were so many options but you decided to do this go back to that moment and feel that spark again remind yourself of how far you have come right you're not the same artist you were even 6 months ago you worked hard you keep working on your skills you keep practicing you keep updating your portfolio so obviously you've come a long long way track your progress you know we as artists sometimes forget that we sometimes tend to be so hard on ourselves all the time you know self criticizing i'm always looking at mistakes but it's always good to sometimes go back and see how far you have come and be proud of that it's a great thing and last you know do some art for fun no pressure at all no expectations just fun take a day or two take it easy do some art for fun just practice doodle sketch whatever it is you like to do and then get back to planning right have a plan of what you're going to do next
Here is something I remember telling my husband when we were going through an especially hard time where my job had really slowed down and he was laid off because his company shut down and it was a very, very rough time for the both of us. And I remember telling him, you know, of course, of course, this is happening, right? We are, we are storytellers, we are filmmakers and no good story is written without a rough time in it, right? So this is just that part in the movie where everything is super desaturated. It's rainy, it's lightning, there's a lot of lightning, it's cloudy and there's super dramatic sad music playing in the background. Everybody except the people in the film, that is the audience, the audience knows that it's going to be okay and the only way that this chapter ends is that everything is going to be okay, right? It's going to have a happy ending and that's just how it works. So if you are in that part of the film where you're just going through one setback after another and nothing seems to be going your way and it's super desaturated with sad music in the background, know that it's all going to be okay. This too shall pass and it's going to be fine and you're going to get your happy ending. And once you get that, guess what? Something else will come up, you'll have another setback and it's going to happen all over again. Come on, because we all watch more than one movie. So, of course it's going to happen again. But this time, you'll be better prepared and you will know how to handle it. And you will also know that just like last time, you're going to be okay. So these are just some of the ways... I deal with setbacks, but I hope there is something in here that you will find helpful. So hang in there, guys. That's all for today. And I hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you all back here next week. Bye. 